Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a cutaway transition effect using masking. So I'm going to drag two clips on my timeline that I want to transition in between. So I'll grab this one here, and I'll place this one next to it. Now this is going to work best when you have uh, some clean edges or at least two different shapes for you to cut away and mask. So what you want to do is find the last frame of your clip that you want to play. So let's say I only wanted my clip to play until this point. This is where I'd right click and add a frame hold onto the clip. And what that's going to do is just hold this frame for the rest of the clip. Now at this point you can click on the end and expand the frame hold so it's as long or short as you need to be your transition length. And you can also fade the audio away by right clicking and applying default transition or however you want to deal with the audio. But to actually do the transition, you want to click on your frame hold clip and then head over to the masking pen tool here, the free draw. And click on it and that's going to allow you to create a mask. And at this point you can zoom into your document, but I actually just like to double click on that panel and that'll open it up in its own, give us more room to work, and then start creating our mask. Start outside of the canvas so that you have room to work your way in. Try to be as close as you can. Remember the pen tool allows you to click and drag points. However, in this case I'm working with a pretty straight building. Also, if you ever click and drag a point too far, like so, you'll see these two tail ends. If you actually hold Option or Alt, you can drag those tail ends back into direction. So if you do an extreme uh, angle or curve, you can get back to the direction you need without things swaying too far. And of course, you can always undo. So once you have the majority of your mask drawn, you want to just close up the shape. So click outside of the boundaries and then meet yourself where you started. And you'll see that it creates a mask on the foreground. You can double click on the panel to put it back into place and see everything else. And at this point, you want to duplicate this masked out frame hold that we just made. So you could right click and copy the clip and then make sure you highlight another track above it like V2. If you don't see another track you can always right click and add track. In this case you want to just make sure you have at least three video tracks to properly do this transition. But you can make sure nothing else is highlighted except for the second track and then paste it. Also another really cool shortcut to duplicate and paste things is hold Option or Alt and then click on the clip and just drag it up and you see that it'll duplicate itself. Now whatever way you duplicated it, once you have it on another layer on top, you want to click on it and then this time go to the Mask Options and check the Invert box. So essentially what that does is it gives you the other half. So now you have both of the two halves on their own clip and now we're just going to create some keyframe positions. So I'm actually going to move these two up and then I'm going to move that other track that we were going to transition into underneath so we can see what's happening. So I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard to get to the very start of the clip. Now once you're at the start of the clip, you want to head over to the effect controls and add or turn on keyframes for whatever parameters you're going to be adjusting. Mostly you're probably just going to need the position slider. I'm going to do that on both clips while I'm still on the very first keyframe because they start at the same point. And then we're going to head to the end of the clips by pressing the down arrow key. And we're going to add another keyframe except this time we can just add the keyframe by making the adjustment. So just to see what's going on, I'm going to press left on my arrow key once so we can see the clip. And then for my top highlighted clip, I'll move the vertical position till it goes all the way out of frame. If you want you can click that keyframe and scooch it all the way one frame over. And then I'll do the same thing for my bottom one. I'll highlight it and I'll move that building down until you can't see it no more. I can click and grab that keyframe and scooch it over to the end. So this is what that's going to look like. You see it peels them apart and then you can just add whatever the next clip is underneath. So this is how the final result looks like. So my advice if you wanted to adjust the timing or make sure the keyframe finished at a certain point is just go to that point on the timeline that you want, want the effect to be done. Then you can actually just find that keyframe and move it exactly to that point. 
for both of them and essentially you could just cut the rest of that clip off or it would be done anyway. So that's how to create a cutout masked transition in Premiere. You can use this with all different types of shapes and effects and this is just one way to do it with that frame hold. If you guys did enjoy this video definitely leave a like on it below and check out my channel for more Premiere Pro tutorials in a playlist and also definitely subscribe to stay tuned for all new future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.